I've got a new piece of kit arrived recently, the Paradar 12.5 DBI 8 element Yagi antenna and uh, certainly works, provides a beautiful match um, very low SWR over a fairly wide bandwidth as well, it's not as narrow as the uh, monopole antennas I've been playing with and um, first tests show that it does indeed give about 10 to 12 dBs a gain. I've got um, a piece of carax connected to it, <clears throat> 3 meter long KMR400 um, no, that goes to a splitter. I forgot about that. So there's 3 dB path loss in each of these arms to two SDR receivers down here. One's a Nualek V5 and the other one is a RTL SDR Blog V4. And those are both connected to Raspberry Pis that are running Open Web RX Plus, which I find is a really good receiver. Um, as you can see here, I've got it on the screen. Our mesh tastic frequency is here, 869.525, where the yellow marker is. And <clears throat> I'll just turn up the audio. That started. That's good timing. That thing is on, well, you can hear it. It's on 869.5. <clears throat> so it's not on our decimal 525 um, mesh tastic frequency. Let's turn that down again. It, gives bursts of either five or four transmissions as you can see there's five bursts there's four bursts and there's five bursts sort of farting sound it's not the same modulation as the mesh tastic because when that comes on you can see it's different you probably won't see anything because i've turned all my nodes off for this receiver test that's a birdie in the receiver this is actually the Nualik. USB dongle STR receiver, which I think works better at this frequency for me than the um, STR blog version 4, which is relatively new. But if you look around down here, there's a pretty strong signal at 868.0625, I think I measured it as pulse signal, narrow band. And these are wide band bursts that m could be, I and mean, they look like the LoRa protocol modulation but I don't know <clears throat> I'm not going to try and decode them but you can see there's some signals around that's just picking up on that Yagi which is indoors and um, pointing south because this thing seems to be coming from the south if I move it point it west which is that way I notice there's a couple of dB's loss through the glass and of course it shouldn't be that close to the window it'll detune it but it's good enough and now you can see that on the real Mesh tastic frequency here, 869.525. Uh, yeah, signals have popped up that we couldn't see before when I was beaming south. So, beaming to the west, I can see that, and that could be a mesh tastic signal because it's on the right frequency and the modulation. It's hard to tell how it should look because I've only seen my own transmissions that are very, very strong and, of course, overload the receiver. And um, certainly, they don't look like this one, they look more like that one. So, that could be a mesh tastic signal. I'll plug it into one of my nodes when I start them up again, see if I can actually uh, see a neighbouring node. I couldn't earlier today, so I'm not sure what that is. Anyway, there's a quick overview of what you can see from 868 to 870 megahertz. So there's the mesh tastic frequency, there's other channels <clears throat> which are in use, and it's quite busy. I didn't notice all of these other signals around here just using a whip antenna. But with the with the 12 dB beam, you can, as long as you don't mind having to turn it around. I'm going to put it outside in the fresh air when I've uh, drilled some holes in this waterproof box and move the Caltech V3 out of this box, which is not waterproof, and put it into that one. So that's the uh, project for today and get that working. And then I'm going to mount it directly onto the back of the Yagi antenna so I don't have to have this piece of cable, which loses... I think it was um, around 1 dB. I measured all my cables yesterday. <laughs> I've written down the results and forgotten. Well, this is the lowest loss cable I have. It certainly works very nicely. Foggy day in Brighton, if you look out of the window there. So that's what I want to put into this video, just to show that there's plenty of signals received by that Yaki. And uh, it, it's very directional, of course, and I'm happy with the SWR. So it looks like this is more of a review of a Yaki antenna. 
than uh, anything else. Also, just before I finish, this is the uh, Malahit DSP2 um, with a little stubby antenna on it, which is about 3 dB worse than a, a vertical dipole, half wave dipole. Um, you can see some of those small signals down there. Of course, it's not picking up so much as the beam, but when the uh, that big signal appears here, you can see it, even on the stubby antenna. Of course, it's not going to do it now because I'm talking about it. But um, the Malahit is quite useful for looking for uh, mesh-tastic signals quickly. Um, so it's another handy piece of kit, and of course, it's very portable. I don't want to put a PC in a monitor in my pocket or even a laptop. With the USB dongles is a bit impractical. So there we are. Remember to like and subscribe, make comments. I've been having fun answering your comments and answering questions and also have a look on Facebook, the Meshtastic UK group and the Meshtastic Brighton group which is the one local to me. So I uh, hope to see you in the comments. Thanks for watching.